Welcome to physics learning. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you an experiment conversion of a voltmeter to an ammeter. Let's discuss about the background of this experiment. The first question is what is voltmeter? Voltmeter is an instrument to measure electric potential whereas an ammeter is an instrument to measure electric current in an electrical circuit. Suppose you want to measure a current in an electrical circuit but you don't have an ammeter. In that case what you can do, you can convert a voltmeter to an ammeter just by connecting it with a suitable parallel resistance. So in this video, I am going to demonstrate you how you can convert a voltmeter to an ammeter. Okay. So what kind of apparatus we need? Here we need a regulated power supply, a voltmeter, a resistance box and an ammeter for the verification of result. Suppose you are converting your voltmeter to an ammeter, then how you can judge whether your results are correct or not? To do that, we will take ammeter for the verification of result. Okay. Now, this experiment has two parts. In order to calculate the suitable parallel resistance, that is the shunt resistance, we first need to know what is the internal resistance of that voltmeter and to do that we need to make a circuit like this we have a series connection between power supply voltmeter and an external resistance let's say that's rm and let's suppose the internal resistance of voltmeter is ri now for such series connection what is the current in the circuit this is very easy if you apply the ohm's law the total current is equals to potential V divided by total resistance Ri plus Rm. Now consider two different scenario. The first one when Rm is equals to 0 that is when the resistance in your box is 0 in that case current is equals to I0 and that will be equals to V upon Ri. Now suppose you are slowly increasing the resistance in the box and in that case let's say a condition when Rm is equals to Ri. In that case current become I prime which is equals to V upon 2 Ri and that is I naught by 2. That is current become half. So when the external resistance is exactly equals to the, the internal resistance of the voltmeter then current in the circuit become half. As a result deflection in the voltmeter became half. Right? When the value of external resistance will be equal to the value of internal resistance of voltmeter, current in the circuit becomes half and hence deflection becomes half. So, just by denoting the resistance at which deflection in the voltmeter is half, that resistance is equal to the resistance of the voltmeter. That is why this part is also known as half deflection method. So, now I am going to demonstrate you an experiment. So, let's see. Initially, we are going to find out the internal resistance of this voltmeter and to do that we need to make a series connection between the power supply voltmeter and the resistance. Therefore, we need to connect one end of the power supply to the one end of the voltmeter and then other end of voltmeter should be connected with the one end of resistance. And then finally other end of resistance to the another end of the power supply. In that way we can ensure a series connection between power supply, voltmeter and resistance. Let's switch on the power supply and just by changing the knob of this power supply we can change the voltage in the circuit. So first we need to make for the first observation voltage 1 volt. Okay. So now you can easily check. So 0 is the resistance in the box and corresponding voltage is 1 volt. Okay. So now next is we have to pick up some resistance from this box and so that we need to make a deflection half that is 0.5. So just take some resistance out of this box. So first one 1000 
and still voltage is not 0.5 so again 200 for the more and 100 more so it's become 1300 okay and at 1300 the voltage is in the voltmeter 0.5 that is deflection is half therefore 1300 is my internal resistance of the given voltmeter okay now in that way we need to just uh, do uh, this experiment again with different initial value so i am putting all this resistance back in the box so that the external resistance in the circuit becomes zero again and then for the second observation we just change the voltage to 0.8 okay and now again we need to look for the half deflection okay so half deflection for 0.8 will be 0.4 so when resistance is zero voltage is 0.8 so just pick up some resistance again 1000 then 200 and for the more let's pick up another 100 so now the voltage in the voltmeter is 0.4 so deflection become half and internal resistance become 1300 okay similarly we can repeat for another case okay for 0 0.6 and what i got the internal resistance for the 0 0.6 is 1250 now the first part of experiment is completed so here the data i have got so this is the table which you have to make for the measurement of internal resistance observation under three different voltages and for each voltages what we have to do we have to check the half deflection so for one volt half deflection is 0.5 volt and in that case resistance was 1300 for second observation resistance was 1300 for the third observation resistance was 1250 so the mean is 1283 and this is the internal resistance once you know the internal resistance then you can calculate the shunt resistance using this formula where i m is the max current in the voltmeter which is v max upon r m for our case v max was 1 volt and r m we have calculated 1283 okay so using this formula we can calculate the im okay so suppose you want to convert your voltmeter which shows a reading from 0 to v max into an ammeter which shows current from 0 to i so in that case you just apply this formula okay so for us i was 100 milliampere v max was 1 volt if you substitute it you will approximately get rsh equals to 10 ohm okay now you can here see as one volt correspond to 100 milliampere thus in our experiment is scale factor become 100 milliampere per volt so now once we know the uh, shunt resistance we can move to the main part of our experiment that is actual conversion of voltmeter to ammeter and to do that we need to make circuit like this okay what you have to do you have to just connect your shunt resistance in parallel with the voltmeter okay and here this configuration within this dotted box is constructed ammeter okay and here this parallel resistance is nothing but rsh okay and this ammeter here for the direct measurement of the current okay so now as scale factor is 100 milliampere per volt so when we see some reading in our voltmeter we just need to multiply by 100 in order to convert it into the ammeter okay so let's see the experiment next what we are going to do we are going to construct an ammeter and to do that we need to connect the voltmeter in the parallel with the shunt resistance of resistance 10 so this whole configuration is now our ammeter okay now we are going to make a circuit so that for circuit we need to connect positive terminal of the power supply to the positive terminal of voltmeter as this point and this point is same so i am connecting it here okay now just bring an ammeter for the verification purpose so this is my ammeter and this is just for the verification just keep it here and uh, just make some space for it okay
now it's look perfect okay so we are connecting the negative end of power supply to the negative terminal of our ammeter that is here and rest other end of ammeter to the another end of our parallel circuit of voltmeter and uh, voltmeter and resistance so connect it here okay so now our circuit is done as per the given circuit in the theory okay so we have completed our circuit part so we can now take our reading for the calibration okay so from the circuit configuration you can easily see the voltage in voltmeter is zero and corresponding current in ammeter is zero and as we will not read that as a voltage this is the uh, number which which can be converted into a uh, current just by multiplying our scale factor of 100 okay so now just increase and you just check the reading in the voltmeter now uh, reading in voltmeter is approximately now it's a point 0.1 okay and point 0.1 correspond to 10 so you can easily see as our scale factor is 100 so if you multiply point 0.1 by a scale factor of 100 then you can get 10 milliampere our scale factor was 100 milliampere per volt okay so point 0.1 is equivalent to 10 milliampere okay now just check for other value so now the reading in the voltmeter is 0.2 so corresponding uh, current will be 20 milliampere right so 0.2 multiply by 100 is 20 milliampere and so on you can check uh, this value for different values of current here you can easily see voltage is 0.3 and corresponding current is 30 milliampere now our experiment is done so here this is the main table that is data for the calibration of ammeter here you can see we have three columns the serial number and reading from constructed ammeter that is voltmeter in parallel with that rsh that is shunt resistance so when the voltmeter reading is showing zero we just multiply by scale factor 100 so the current is zero and direct measurement also shows zero Similarly, when voltmeter shows 0.1, so we need to multiply by 100, 10 milliampere, which is exactly equals to 10 milliampere in the direct measurement. So that's how you can take the different observations in order to validate your experiment. So hope this experiment is clear to you. I will see you in the next video with some other experiment. Okay. See you. Thank you.